Greetings, I am Lies, and I use she, her. And I am Scandal, and I use they, them. And let's play a game together! together. Yeah, let's do it! Alright, so we are we have an experience of trying to make this sort of drama of the week fit into a true and genuine cohesive character narrative. arc. And yeah. a cohesive narrative with our MC. And I think both of us might be just losing a little bit of steam for digging into this really hard. Like, I feel like we could make it work better. But the game's gone on so long at this point, well, And it has, has sort of disregarded its own setups at some yeah. point. And dropped its own experiences enough times that it's getting a little bit tiring. Well, it's, yeah, like, again, I was like, there was a solid shift. And we mm -hmm. have observed it over and over again. We've had characters pop in. We've had now different love interests come in. And... Whatever character they initially were established with has been completely thrown out the door, so it's sort of frustrating. Anyway, we're gonna try, of course, keep plowing ahead with this. But if it seems like like our 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 enthusiasm of just going, this is this thing, or that like it isn't as clear as before, mm -hmm. it's because it's just mm. the game's wearing on us a little. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. We have interrupted when our food comes. Ha! Huh. Ah! The waiter, I see you're busy already having a meal. Well, let me give you another one. All right, mm. I sit up straight, feet red, waiter. I, I don't get it. paid enough for this. For that, yeah. Please give me good tips. That's all I'm asking for. I will not Which... interrupt your face sucking if you just give help me achieve a living wage, okay? Please, because, you know, the companies never want to. They go, it's on you guys. They go, but... but... If, if you ascribe to the, you know, food service industry lottery where someone could tip you really well, then, you know, it's more exciting than regular pay. Right. So having can, a consistent expected experience for my life and my, my living habits and everything else is completely it's undesirable? Not, well, it's not as good as that one surprise great thing that might happen. God, isn't it better to potentially win the lottery and scream your head off once in your life than, you know, to just be stable and comfortable for all of it? No. Everyone just staring? No. no. Capitalism? No, but it's so but exciting. It is. You could win and you could be so special. Okay, so um, I have mentioned on the channel that I'm having to um, switch jobs because, you know, you hit those times in your life where you do something different. So I have to change my job experience. I'll say, and um, the thing that I went to go and do training for, I'll probably talk about it once it's set, I was going to say, um, is like, uh, got. Uh, basically, myself and one other individual had made it through the interview process, and we went to go do training. They were going to hire both of us, and they're immediately like, actually, things have shifted. We don't have any work. So they sent us both away. Then their recruiter called um, yesterday and was like, hey, actually, I have this thing for you. And then was like, there was two of you in there, right? And they're like, okay, I'm going to call the other one and see if they'll take this thing too. And she called back today, and she's like, so I'm putting both of you at the same place. It'll be great. And I didn't go, oh, no, I didn't get special consideration by being the only one who now gets picked. I went, right. great, two people are getting jobs. Right. As opposed to basically the lottery experience is, yay, I'm the only one that got picked. Right, and I'm unique. And I'm special, and yeah. I got the good luck. Instead of going, hey, ten of us all got a great break together. Right. Or like, you know, the whole nation did. <laughs> Right? Why well, do we like, all have health care? If you think really big and like as if we are a unified species on a planet and like out there there are more other things going on and that we all work together, maybe everyone here is supported. Because like the idea of like insulation and separation and like superiority and such like that, it just doesn't really help anybody in like the bigger picture of things. And the picture keeps getting bigger to, to be affected. Yeah. At any rate, that's it, some opinions right there. But, right, in Paris. Embarrassing. Did the waiter watch our makeout session? No. I stands no. there, waiter. watches. No, why the hell? I'm I, very busy. I get paid $3 an hour. Fuck you. I'm really busy. I'm not going to watch. Like, I am going to be disgusted, probably. Oh. And I will judge you. Ah, <laughs> you being shy. You're so cute and innocent. Um, <sighs> I say nothing and look down towards my food completely embarrassed because I don't want to explain that the first guy that I was sort of with kind of um the guy a guy that I just met he just raped me um so fuck you actually so actually having stuff pushed on me and then put on public display is a little uncomfortable yeah just a little because bit because also I was put on public display uncomfortably the night after socially so yeah yeah <clears throat> might uh, be a little bit might what you call like triggering for me oh uh, just a bit I have to admit he is a really good kisser. At least that's one thing, I suppose. Again, this feels like that narrative of just the, let me pick one thing about this. Not, yeah. I liked that. Not, it was interesting or fun. Not, oh my God, I'm embarrassed, but wow. Right. Like, because a lot of times when you're having positive feelings about something, you don't go, 
they were a really good kisser. Right. And also, I have to admit, having to admit specifically says I was resistant to this kind of thing and or you're conceding to at least this thing. So I've actually heard, so there were some people that even that you and I worked with where sometimes mm -hmm. they were like, God, sometimes you're just like, this thing was pretty terrible overall, but you're like, but at least he was a good kisser. And I was like, why what? the fuck would that make that experience good? Like when you actually really like, well, yeah, he was a really good kisser. You're like, so how'd the rest of it go? Well, and you're like, yeah, there was definitely why? like some people sharing their dating stories at work over my lifetime where I'm like, uh, that doesn't sound great at, at all. all. And they really are because these are mostly women that would share because, you know, I'm a girl and so dudes don't talk to me about the relationship stuff for the most part. Right. I was going to say, but there's this experience of going, yeah, well, you know, it was kind of sucky, but God, they were a really good kisser. And I'm like, you just panned off the fact that your entire evening had nothing to it of value and you didn't really like it, except they were a good kisser, which you didn't spend most of your evening doing. Doing. Yeah, it's like, what? And going... I, to me, that does not balance it out, but this is very familiar language yeah. of going, that's the thing you do, and then you focus on that. And she's not focusing on, again, him. She's just focusing on good kisser. All right, I was really caught up in the moment. We continue talking for a while and enjoy our food. I'm relieved he understands that I don't want to rush into a relationship. I... Uh, you say, you give him, you just sort of pretend like that's what's going on, because I don't think Brody at all. Or I was just saying, or take the next step. I've just been suffocated into a kiss that I didn't feel like I was allowed to say no to. So I'm like, why am I not able to resist? I don't understand. Right. And then it goes really far with like, we are sucking face aggressively kind of thing. And I'm very yeah. caught up in it because, you know, we'll let the world burn, if you will. I'm right. going to just try this and or engage. And then going, I've been really overwhelmed and uncomfortable, embarrassed by this because I suddenly realized it's in public. Two, we're on display. And three, he's teasing me about it. And so I go... He good, good thing he understands that I don't want a relationship. And you yeah. reassure yourself that this hasn't obligated you or connected your suit to anything. Right? Absolutely. He seems like a really sweet guy. For understanding that. Right. Absolutely. Bar mm. is in hell. Burn, you're so beautiful. You would make a great model. Oh, thank you. I'm flattered. I love fashion, but nobody's ever said I should be a model before. That's a shock. You'd make a great one. I Have always, you ever thought about it? I always get really annoyed when guys use that line because once you actually learn about industry and jobs and careers and stuff, being a model isn't all about being pretty. There's a few different, there's there's quite yeah. a few different ways to do it now. And it, depending on, in, in sort of the, there's quite a few different ways to publish a book kind of thing. Right. Like there are, it is no longer a only high fashion models on the primary runway, you know, during New York Fashion Week that have only the 22 to 23 inch waist and are, you know, five foot eight or taller. Right. Like, which is, the thing is, is like, I'm not saying those girls are unattractive. Please don't take that that way. But it is not required to be attractive to do that job. No. It is required to have a certain build. Yes. And that is it, which is why a lot of them have really interesting faces and don't fall into your classic beauty so standard. So usually what it sounds like when people go, you should be a model, is like you should do portrait photography or you should do a certain kind of photography, but they don't realize that's what they're talking about. Usually what I hear when people, like, they don't understand that model is actually different than, like, a portrait model or this kind of model. Or a or, body parts or a model bottom. or yeah. even just, like, a um, commercial model. Right. These kinds of things. Because, really, if you are basically in print ads of any kind, even if it's, like, promoting Geico as average Joe, you are a model. Yes, absolutely. I was going to say, but when guys use this line, what they're saying is, you're so pretty, you could do it professionally. Right. And modeling isn't all about being pretty and they're not thinking about the actual job mm -mm. where you have to where, where modeling is a type of acting yeah it's a type of presenting someone else's like emotional experience that they want on camera oh also the other thing is being a runway model no uh -huh. that's Very the other different. thing which is which is why i mentioned new york fashion week yeah yeah well not everybody's gonna know what that is oh i apologize that's specifically a huge because i event. didn't catch what that was for two seconds either so you have to excuse me it's so but yeah giant runway fashion event yes okay mm -hmm. um this is weird because burn already said i haven't really thought about it Yes. Why are we having a redundant? Oh, just it's not really. Not it's really. Fine. This is not really. Brody gaffs and mocks surprise. You kidding? A beauty like you. Additionally, some people who do fit a lot of like traditional model standards have no interest in the job or career path. Yes. And like that's a really important thing to consider as well because a lot of models, if they are doing runway work, they do a lot of traveling, which you may not want to do. Mm -hmm. People go, glamorous traveling, but some people are like, oh my God, it's just endless hotels and airplanes. Right. They also talk about um, some people actually are more aware of some of the issues that actually plague the industry itself. 
mm -hmm. uh, which is a lot about like eating disorders, body image problems, self-esteem problems. Sometimes you have really hyper over abusive managers. You have people who basically also can control everything you eat or, you know, when you sleep and there's a, but that like happens in every industry. And it's not saying that we shouldn't go for something else, but some mm -hmm. people just go, I know the bullshit that's in here. The answer is no. I was going to say, and the thing is, is it is a literal career. Yes. It's like someone saying, wow, you should work in manufacturing. You'd be really suited to it when you have a really sturdy build. Yeah. And going, maybe I'm not interested in manufacturing, but your body suggests you'd be good at it. Wow, your quirk says that you'd be really good for this. Sorry, oh I have my some God. issues with that. Oh my God. Like the, so just in regards sometimes to like fantasy stories, like I've been deeply frustrated where they go, hey, you are this thing, like you're a dwarf or you're an elf or whatever else, and this means you're only suited for, and everybody looks to you to only do these specific things. You have a high magic stat. You should be a magician. You should be a wizard. You should be a warlock. What the fuck? And you're kind of like, what? So I loved it in the Ella Enchanted movie where they actually talked about it as a form of oppression where the um, colonialist king actually had made it so that, uh, usurper king, in fact, um, had made it so that all elves legally could only enter professions of singing and dancing, entertainment, hospitality, and performance. Right. And, like, it was a huge form of oppression, and if you were born to be an elf, that's all you could do. Right. And it's just like, but it was that, that, that sort of taking that fantasy element of you're, you know, basically suited for this thing ethnically and just pushing it really hard. And I, well, actually, that's one of the things that I have found to be greatly interesting about, like, the like the D&D &D sort of group as a whole, and mm -hmm. also what it, it seems to to put forward in its own sort of role-playing setting. Mm -hmm. But I won't get into that here because obviously there's no point. But it is a thing to actually consider. And you can see it happen in fantasy stories even without the role-play element all the time. You see it also in sci-fi. People mm. just go, you are born to this role. This is who you are. And there's this weird sort of like... People only seem to rebel against it if it's like basically genetic privilege of social role. Like, I don't want to be the princess, not... I mean, there are certainly stories where people rebel against it, but there are less stories where somebody goes, I was designated to be a wizard and what I'd like to be is a carpenter. So what I also, though, hear sometimes with some of that, depending on how it's done, is almost like a trans narrative. Mm -hmm. You were born to be a girl, you were born to be a boy, and the person goes, no. Which is what I wish more people would realize sometimes I think that's what they're kind of writing. Uh -huh. And the thing is, is a lot of times they go, but it's your destiny, and then they get pushed into it and they embrace it. Yes. I was just saying, so there, there is the reluctant hero narrative, but usually the reluctant hero that I'm familiar with doesn't hate their power, they hate the obligation. Yes! And that's the difference. Yes. Where I was trying to, like, you know, magician versus carpenter. Oh, yeah. Then well, it's just, just the power, actually, where someone's like, you're so good at gymnastics. I don't care. I hate them. That theme of society versus self. Mm hmm Yeah. Right. So, um, such you, a good model. You would make such a good model, though. Thanks. I'm flattered. Well, if you ever did get the chance, do you think you would try it? Mm, well... I guess. I mean, why since you wouldn't won't you, right? Drop it, I guess. Um, I never really thought about it, but I don't see why not. So Burn has now repeated themselves and said the same Multiple thing times. three times of I've never really thought about it. That is also a behavior in conversation that can indicate high stress or like disengagement or trying to back out of a conversation. When you give the same answer over and over again, you can't think of how else to engage. You're feeling stuck in a corner kind right. of thing. So even if Vern is using enthusiastic language as far as like going, he's a really nice guy and stuff, the fact that she can't think of anything else to say and has tried to shut it down, I've never really thought about it, three times yeah. is a strong like red flag. That's an indicator of her being in a state of discomfort. Yes, so uh, cute. Uh, you really should. In fact, I could even show you how to get started. Rody suddenly takes a card from his pocket, and I could be your manager. Whoa. Like, that's where I'm expecting this to suddenly go. He holds it in front of my face. I actually happen to know a good modeling agency, and they're looking for a new talent. There's actually a photo shoot this weekend. Oh? <laughs> Please consider it. It would really compliment your fashion blog. He has a point, I say reluctantly. I've never modeled before, but it could be fun. Uh, okay, that actually sounds like fun. Here, give me the information, and then I'll just kind of stick it in my pocket and I'll forget about it conveniently, because I cannot get you to listen to me saying no, or my little casual, that... like, I'm trying to submissively go, I'm really not interested, I don't want to. Right, basically, what I'm telling you by I've never really thought about it means I've never had interest in it. Yes. So I've never displayed, expressed, or pursued interest in it. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I take the card excitedly. After a bit more chatting, we end our date, and he takes me home. Well, that was wild. I, I get ready for bed, giddy and excited. I can't wait to tell Kayla about uh, Kayla about this tomorrow. Kayla about. Kayla about. We're mm. going to go fight with Kayla. Ah, uh, yes, with one Kayla. bout. 
I got to school pretty early today, actually. I see Kayla come in and excitedly wave her over. Ah, wow, girl, I'm so sorry. My friend here has the sniffles and they are trying yeah. to do their best. It is just like, it is dust, I think, I unfortunately. Think All right, oh, wow, girl, chill out. You must have had an amazing date. You better tell me all about it. Oh, I will. I tell her about the entire night in detail. Which exists, which consists of, we chatted, we sucked face, and he tried to, and he told me I need to model. Yes, mm -hmm. that was pretty much it. When I get to the finale of the conversation, the guys walk in together. I... Uh, hi, Ben. Hi, Mark. I uh, guess what? Uh, they look at me curiously. I... Interestingly enough, someone handing you a card of someone who's scouting talent does not guarantee that one, you will be scouted, two, that they're going to want you, and three, that you will be included. At all. At Again, all. This I could assume just... that the game is going to assume those things are true and Bird will just go get to do it. But the thing is, is if they're scouting for talent, they may be looking for something specific, depending on what they're looking for. Um, I've actually done some, like, uh, I, I, I want to say, like, art model work in my life. Yeah. Like, um, there was a couple of times where I just sat as the live model for, for artists who were drawing. Right. Like, which there's a lot of times that you could do that. It's really, really simple. You just come in for college class, you sit down and they just draw the person there, you know? Yeah. And like, um, un unlike some ideas, you don't even have to be nude to do it. You, ah. just, you just do it. And when I took my own drawing class, we didn't have a new model, but we did have a live model. There are all sorts of different live models, just in case y'all were wondering. Uh-huh. Like, you really just need a person to be able to draw. Mm -hmm. And so there was a couple of times when I was just looking for like some extra cash and sort of see what it was, feel the waters and see what it was like. I just thought, oh, there's a gig available. I'll give it a try. And it was real simple. You just had a couple. Like, it was also kind of boring. You just stand still in a pose for 10 minutes. You sit still in a pose for 20 minutes. You move into a pose for 15 minutes. You just listen to the art director. All right. And the thing is, then you just got to hold still for those. But, or you do it like a, po a repose pose and you just sit still for like 50 minutes kind of thing. Right. Anyway, I just, but the thing is, is it's, if it's, unless it's like we just need a body, you're not guaranteed to be what they're looking for at all. Yeah, no, not, mm. even, not even lightly. She's going to be a model. Wait, what? All right, then everyone will be looking at her and having a basically social possession of her other than you. Ha ha! I... He yanks the card from my hand and examines it suspiciously. Mark is looking over his shoulder. Uh, ben, don't uh, do you think you should be a little more careful? I know a lot of modeling agencies, but I've never heard of this one. Uh, Kayla comes down as she listens. Uh, come to think of it, this does seem a little strange. It's okay, it's a porn company. I, oh, uh, honestly, what? I wanted to go more extreme, because that's where it seems like it wants to go. More extreme than porn? Yeah. Oh, trafficking? Yes. Well, there we go. Anyway, Hi. why would he ask you to be a model during a date? Interesting. Almost like he had an agenda to specifically acquire and have access to you. So, and actually to disarm you with his really direct behavior. But also, not to really give you any information about anything. Hey, you're a girl who seems like you're full of drama in your life, and I know exactly who you are, and I've isolated you, and I know a few things about you, and, and I you're can make you feel comfortable. Vulnerable. I'm attractive, you're vulnerable. Hi, let me talk to you. Let me, you know, my God, they just make every dude in here super fucking unappealing mm. other than like basically mark like mm. nate's got a little couple of things that i'm like i wouldn't consider that to be steady basically relationship nope. material at all nope i'm not saying like that that makes him worse but if that's the goal is to have a relationship mm -hmm. um no yeah uh, and like yeah it's basically just mark i was gonna say but yeah that is super suspicious if anyone okay like i actually had somebody um ask me to dinner one time and then try and sell me a multi-level marketing scheme i know like you're like you're like excuse me and they're like oh no no i'm just sharing about my business and then by the end of it they're really like do you want to buy it and i'm like no. no you literally just brought me to dinner so you could have me as a captive like basically um sales prospect yeah and also going but now i'm obligated to you because i went out and got food with you you know like I've and it's really really unusual at some uh, point anyway <clears throat> why would you ask you to be a model during your date. It is very clear when someone has an agenda sometimes because they can't literally talk about anything else because they're not interested in anything else. Yeah. You're not going to take him up on his offer, are you? It wasn't his offer. He said, I know a guy over there and they're doing a thing. I. The answer from the, the writers is, you will do this regardless. Mm -hmm. um, so how are we going to do this regardless? Well, we started to be interested when he said it could help your blog, and we went, oh, I suppose it could. Yeah, I don't like the idea of Burn instantly going, are you jealous? Because that's never really been her, even though they've tried pushing that narrative a couple times, There's and I have been pissed at the writers for doing so. There have been a couple of random and inconsistent times where she's been really catty or petty kind of thing, mm -hmm. um, or where she's been written to be allowed to be that thing, and it doesn't seem like it's a consistent 
consistent personality at all. Unlike when in My Nurse Girlfriend, there was the experience of um, uh, Mr. always being able to lie, period. Yeah. And unless she has an option to all the time be able to be like jealous or catty I or bitchy, which she hasn't, have it doesn't maintain as well. Never seen someone so aggressively try to use lying that much as a form of humor. Yes. Like in a way that was so juvenile and so, like not even funny juvenile humor. Mm. Like I get where lying can be funny or sarcasm is hilarious because I have, I have, personally, I know I have amazing deadpan. I will fuck people over in regards to sarcasm a lot. Mm. But, um, I don't. Anyway, like, so I'm like, damn. It feels like they only throw it in occasionally <laughs> to be like, haha, this thing. And it's not really consistent with <clears> a, a. If you even if you tried to do it, you couldn't consistently maintain that narrative across the story. Right? So it'll help my blog since that's, that seems to be what she wants to mm -hmm. do, I guess. Oh. Um, well, he really likes my sense of fashion and he said it would help my blog. I, what you're failing also to understand and recognize, Vern, where you're sounding very naive about this, but also sort of defensive and therefore less informed about it kind of thing, if I'm just defending it, not really talking about it, right? Um, is the experience that he didn't give you a job nor offer you a job. No. He said, I know an agency over there who's looking. So one of the big things that I've noticed in regards to stories um, is the trope of the talent scout, okay. where the talent scout seems to, for some reason, have innumerable powers of I find a person I can elect this person period there's no basically higher ups they just sort of like that is what the talent scout does they don't really usually go into any amount of further detail unless it's specifically about that event and even then sometimes they're like what we're trying to do is trying to get you into this industry because that's where all the story is mm -hmm. and so they just skip over like a lot of the talent scouting and what that actually looks like in the interviews that you have to do and they you know check your sizes or whatever it is you're trying to do so I imagine that's probably what they're doing, but they probably aren't aware that's what they're doing because it gets really tiresome where you're just like, and the talent scout can do whatever the fuck they want, apparently, mm -hmm. regardless of the agency that they represent or who they're working for. Right. And again, this guy's not even a talent scout. He's not even, I work for this company. Yeah, he's, he's just, just like, no. I know there's a modeling company that's looking right now. Right. And that's, that's so vague. The assumption that you're like, I've got this thing and I haven't even talked to the people that actually are the industry yet is yeah. really, really wild. And I would love it if they would follow through with that. If it would be like, Vern would show up going, hi, I'm here for the shoot. And they'd go, one, who are you? Two, and she'd go, oh, someone's are telling me about this. We don't know who that is. We give our cards to all kinds of people. And or three, and then they're just like, I don't know why you're here. You're a stranger trying to walk in on a business site. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, that's... Uh, true, but still, we're going to have to find out in the next, next one. one. Hey, so thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. If you like what we do, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and also share our videos if you are having a good time with us. Please also feel free to go check out our Ko-Fi and our Patreon. We have some links in the description down below. And we'd really love if you did so anyway because we have some goals that we'd like to achieve this year and we yep. could really use your help. Um, but, you know, no pressure. And then I have been scandal. We are actually trying to up our subscriber, um, I, I like, count this year. That's, yes. We're kind of, kind of, we don't know how to push for it, but we we would love it if we had some help. Yeah. And I have been lies. And, and it was, was great, great playing, playing with, with you. you. Bye. Bye.